تبارك الذي نزل الفرقان على عبده ليكون للعالمين نذيرا بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله الله سبحانه وتعالى says towards the end of Surah Ali Imran إن في خلق السماوات والأرض واختلاف الليل والنهار لآيات لأولي الألباب Indeed, verily, in the creation of the heavens and the earth and the alternating of the night and day, there are signs. There are signs for who? The people of understanding. Who are these people of understanding? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the next verse and he says, الَّذِينَ يَذْكُرُونَ اللَّهَ قِيَامًا وَقُعُودًا وَعَلَى جُنُوبِهِ They are those who remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala while they're standing and sitting and laying on their sides. So they are constantly remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Day and night, these people are people whose tongues are constantly uttering the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And what enabled these special group of people to be like this? It is because of the characteristic that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions about them next. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about them, وَيَتَفَكَّرُونَ فِي خَلْقِ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ They reflect and ponder over the creation of the heavens and the earth. They look around them. They see the stars and the moon and the sun. And the, on the earth, the seas and the mountains. These great creations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they only come to one conclusion and they say, رَبَّنَا مَا خَلَقْتَ هَذَا بَاطِلًا Our Lord, you have not created this without a purpose, without a name. Subhanak. Free are you from any imperfection. And free are you from what they associate with you. فَقِنَا عَذَابَ النَّارِ And they ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect them from the punishment of hellfire. رَبَّنَا إِنَّكَ مَنْ تُدْخِلِ النَّارَ فَقَدْ أَخْزَيْتَ Our Lord, whoever you enter into the hellfire, then these are people you have truly disgraced. Who is worse than a person on that day, on the day of judgment, is amongst the people of hellfire and he's doomed to stay there forever. وَمَا لِلظَّالِمِينَ مِنْ أَنصَارِ And for the wrongdoers, there are no helpers. On that day, they will have no one to turn to, no one to argue their case in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the people of understanding their dua continues and they say, رَبَّنَا إِنَّنَا سَمِعْنَا مُنَادِيًا يُنَادِي لِلْإِيمَانِ أَنْ آمِنُوا Our Lord, we have heard callers that call to your faith and they say, آمِنُوا بِرَبِّكُمْ Believe in your Lord, فَآمَنَّا So Allah, we believed, فَاغْفِرْ لَنَا ذُنُوبَنَا وَكَفِّرْ عَنَّا سَيِّئَاتِنَا وَتَوَفَّنَا مَعَ الْأَبْرَارِ So Allah, we ask you to forgive us our major sins and to expiate our minor sins وَتَوَفَّنَا مَعَ الْأَبْرَارِ and to allow us to die amongst the al-abrar, the righteous. And look at the humility with regards to how they ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to not make them amongst the people of hellfire. And who generally are the people of hellfire? They are those who sin and transgress the boundaries of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the people of understanding, they are people who are acknowledging their sins. They acknowledge their weakness and they know they have fallen into sin. So they ask in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not to make their fate the people of hellfire. And they ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive them their sins, major and minor sins. And not only that, they ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make them amongst the righteous. Oh Allah, allow us to die amongst the righteous, they say. Meaning, Allah give us success and grant us the ability to be able to perform righteous actions up until that moment we die. Let us die upon that, oh Allah. And let us be amongst the people of righteousness in Jannah. It is as if they're saying, Oh Allah, we are sinners and we're not deserving of this. But Allah, we believe. We believe and through your mercy, O oh Allah, you can forgive us and grant us this high aspiration that we have, this dream of theirs. And their high aspiration doesn't end there. And they say, Rabbana wa'atina ma wa'attana ala rusulik. These callers that they believed in, these callers that were calling to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they gave them promises. These are the messengers and the prophets that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent. They told them of what awaits those who strive to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Jannah and underneath which God, rivers flow and these palaces and all of these ni'am and blessings that await the people of righteousness. Not only in the Akhirah, but of, in this life as well. They are promised a good life. So they're asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Oh Allah, we have believed in you. And we have believed in these promises. So make them come true, O oh Allah. وَلَا تُخْزِنَا يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ And do not make us amongst the disgraced on the day of judgment. Who are the people that are disgraced? 
They are the people of hellfire. The people of understanding here are constantly going back to their sins and they're seeking forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they're asking Allah not to punish them for their sins. Oh Allah, you do not fail in your promise. So this is the dua of the people of understanding. They didn't leave out any good except they asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for it. And they didn't leave out any evil except they asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect them from it. So it's befitting that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala called these people the people of understanding. And another point of reflection here, my brothers and sisters, is look at their dua and the way they ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Look at the number of times they say Rabbana. They didn't suffice with calling upon Allah's name once. Rather, with every new plead and every new request, they mention the name of Allah first and they say Rabbana, Rabbana. And they keep asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah says, وَلِلَّهِ الْأَسْمَاءُ الْحُسْنَى فَادْعُوهُ بِهَا So use this, his names to call him and make dua to him. These people, they made dua. What does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say? In the very next verse, فَاسْتَجَابَ لَهُمْ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala responded to their dua. And the fa here, the letter fa, indicates an immediate response. So their dua was granted and accepted. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us amongst the people of understanding and to grant us what he granted them. And we'll end it there, inshaAllah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakumullah khairan, brothers and sisters, for watching. May Allah bless you all. Please leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. And share this video so that we can all be part of the Quranic revival. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.